we think we need more leads. We think we need to do more activity. We think we need to do a lot of stuff, but oftentimes what we need to do is we just need to sit down and work and we need to see what we're doing right now. Because oftentimes we have a lot of anxiety, I would say around our pipelines and how much business we have coming in. When you guys think of your pipeline, I want you guys to think of five sections in your pipeline, all right? When you guys think of your pipeline, I want you to think of five sections. The first is the listings that you have coming soon, all right? So inside of a like a whiteboard or inside of a, um, maybe like a, a sheet, I have mine on Canva, create a box that says listings coming soon and put listings coming soon in the middle. The next thing I want you guys to look at is active buyers. The next box I want you to look at is your active listings. The next box is what you have under contract or pending and escrow. And then the last one is what I want you to look at is your sold year to dates. All right. Under your listings coming soon. All right. I want you to put how many listings are coming soon. How many people have signed? So let's say you have two listings coming up in the next month. Go ahead and put the names. So we're going to go with uh, Patel and we're going to go with the Jones, the two most common Indian and American last names, right? Got to keep it equal. So we have two listings coming soon, right? And what I like to do is I like to put the dollar amount of those listings. So let's say the Patels are a $2.1 million listing and the Jones are a 1.9. So that's a cool 4 million bucks. All right. Awesome. Now let's go under active buyers. Now these are buyers that preferably have committed to working with you by signing a buyer's agency agreement. And let's say you have four active buyers. All right. And you could put the Smiths, put the Duels, you could put the Jones, because maybe the Jones need to sell and they're going to buy and they're actively looking to buy because they don't need to sell before they buy. And then you got the, um, oh, let's say you got the, uh, give me a last name here, Vikram. You got the, the Smith, Jones, Duel. Uh, you got the Patels too, because the Patels are also going to be staying in the area and they're going to be buying, right? So now we got our active buyers, these are people that are actively looking, ready to pull the trigger, signed a buyer agency agreement with you, done the pre-qualification, shown you their proof of funds. They've gone through your process. They've sat down with you. They're ready to rock and roll. So now you're like, oh man, I got, I got two listings coming soon. Now those are coming up and one's in March, one's in April. Oh, I got four active buyers. Like, oh my God, I'm actually doing pretty good. I would do this like once a week. It keeps you abreast of what's going on. Now, let's say you have one active listings, right? Um, and we got that for the uh, the Porter family, right? You have one active listing. It's been on the market for 27 days, all right? And it's uh, 1.35, all right? We're gonna, the 1.35 is gonna come important um, and the 27 days is gonna become important, right? Because you have to look at your market stats, right? Now, under contract, let's say you have two under contract, you have the Wright family, R A G H T, and you have the uh, you have the Lee family, right? And let's say under contract, those are valued at um, 35k for commission. And then under year to date, you're going to show you have six units sold, right? And you've sold um, let's call it uh, four million dollars, and you've earned on that four million. Let's say you've earned. $67,000. I'm just making up numbers here, you guys. My math is not good. I'm not really Indian. Your pipeline value, right? Your pipeline value is six closed deals, right? But you also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine potential deals. And then the dollar amount of this, let's say this is a value of $6 million, right? In potential sales. And the value of that is $135,000. Well, crap, I feel pretty good right now. I feel pretty good. Like I, I'm, I'm excited about this. Now, let's say there's some things that we need to solve for, right? Let me just move this out of the way, cut a little. So what do we need to solve for, right? So let's say there's a couple of items that we need to solve for. What do we need to solve for, right? Well, let's say we have um, the Patels, they're good, right? So we're just gonna put nothing there, all right? The Porters, right, the Porters, well, in our market, 27 days on the market means we're overpriced or we're badly presented. So now I need to do some research, 
right? I need to do research on pricing and presentation, and then I need to update them. So I'm going to want to book a live in-person meeting with the porters. Now, some of you might call me crazy, but if I'm going to have a conversation where I need them to either restage their home, I need them to take some stuff out, or I need to have a conversation around um, dropping the price, I don't want to do those over the phone. I want to do them in person so I can see their reaction. I can read their body language. I can feel their emotions because dropping the price is scary, right? Dropping the price is scary and nobody wants to do that. But we know as agents that if we don't help them get in front of the market sooner, the longer they're on the market, the less likely they're going to get the price they want. So we know that we need to have those crucial conversations. The best way to have a crucial conversation is in person. If you can't have it in person, do it via Zoom. If you can't have it via Zoom, then obviously do it over the phone, but that's the lowest right form of influence. So now we got a couple of things that we need to solve for. We have a couple of things that we need to do some updates for. Now we see, okay, what do we need ops for? Okay, ops, we need to, oh, the Jones, right? We need to order our studio photos. Guys, yeah, studio photos is a special term that we teach inside of our academy to our private clients, right? Everybody does professional photography, but we do studio photography, right? Little language tweaks to make you sound different than everybody else. Uh, the second thing we need to do is uh, we need to we need to prepare a new set of comps or porter, right? So I'm going to have my admin do that. Um, number three is we need to. Uh, you know, oh, for the Jones, we need to do a final walkthrough, right? So I need to have a team member or I need to go out there and do a final walkthrough um, so that we make sure that our people, right, um, our listings are ready for our photographers, our videographers, right? All of those things that we need to do, right? So like that's a seven minute pipeline review, right? We do this weekly, right? In our office, we did this weekly, I do this with my salespeople weekly. The reason why is because it gives them motivation and excitement to go into the weekend. It lets them know that, okay, all that prospecting you did is actually working. It lets them know that they have money coming in. It also reminds us of who we need to talk to immediately. We don't want to let things spiral out of control. A hard conversation today is going to be a hard conversation tomorrow. Maybe your active buyers, right? Maybe... Maybe the, the, the deals, oh, those deals, those, those deals, maybe they're stuck in 2022 and they're trying to find that needle in the haystack deal that everybody's looking for that just doesn't exist anymore for what they're looking for. And they need to have a come to Jesus moment where we talk about pricing or we talk about, maybe we talk about like their area or we talk about you know, borrowing money from mom and dad so that they can get a bigger down payment so they can go be competitive. There are things that we need to talk about. And if we don't review who we're working with, here's what clients say to me. Hey, Vic, I'm working with these people. Okay. My first question is, how long have you been working with those buyers for? Oh, we've been working for six months. Six months? Why so long? We, we should be in properties like immediately. Well, they're, they're not in touch with reality. Okay. Hold on. Pause. Pause. Tell me about the buyer consultation. Well, we, we just kind of started looking at homes. That's why. You didn't educate them. That'd be like a doctor telling somebody they need to go take chemotherapy, have multiple surgeries, and they didn't tell them why. They didn't tell them anything. They're just like, hey, here's what your next steps are. We need you to go get chemo, and we need you to have three surgeries. The patient would be like, what do you mean? And the doctor walks out. It's like, all right, let's go look at surgeons. All right, let's go look at the surgeons. Let's go talk about the drugs. And you're like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I don't understand. I don't understand. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You guys, when you don't do good buyer consults, your buyers have no idea what the market's about. All right. So this was helpful no matter where you're following us at, whether it be on YouTube or it be on Instagram. Um, throw us a throw us a comment. Throw us a heart. Throw us a like. I don't got to do this. It's it's a beautiful day in Medellin. I could literally be sitting outside on my balcony, crack open the barbecue, throw a steak on there sit in the sun, get a tan, go to the pool. Um, we do this because we love you guys. We want you to win. This market's hard. There are more, there, there is not a problem of buyers in this market. There is a problem of having conversations, structured conversations that work with human psychology, right? To get 
sellers to make a move, to get buyers to put in good offers. So anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. Toodaloo. Peace.